Hello parents! I made this video to show one of my favorite ways to assess for student understanding in the classroom. This is called a Kahoot. It's an interactive quiz. Um, so what I have it on right now is the preview mode to show you what it looks like on the screen when it's being projected. So that would be the left side of the video. And then what's seen on the student's device, whether it's a tablet, phone, or a laptop. So what they'll see is over here on the right side of the video. So when I pull this game up, it gives us a pin number, which the students will enter, which will connect them to the Kahoot game. And they'll give their name. Okay, so once I have all my players in, I'll click start. Oops, sorry. And there's 15 questions in total, but I'll just answer a couple just to get the feel of the Kahoot. So what I like to do is read them the question, and then I'll also read them the answer choices. And over here, just to point out a couple things, um, this is a timer. It was at 30 seconds, but I can make this shorter, longer, or take it out just to give them all the time they need. And their answer choices are represented by shapes, which is actually seen on their phone like this. So they will click the best answer to the question. And it gives you points. So even though I got it correct, the highest amount of points is a thousand. And that's based on how fast you answer the question. So the quicker you answer it, the more points you get. And then after all the students answer the question, it shows you the correct answer. So then as the teacher, I would click next on my computer. So we can start the following question. So then once again, I would read them the question and their answer choices. And over here is a countdown of how many answers I have. So I, if I know I have 15 students and I only have 13 answers, then I'm waiting on two. Yes, it is convenient. So I will purposely get this one wrong just to show what it looks like on the students phone, it tells them that they were incorrect and what the correct answer was. Okay, so I will end the quiz here, but typically we will finish the quiz and this screen is the same. Once we're done with the quiz, it will tell us who the top scorer was and then takes us to this rating page where the students can rate it however they want. And then I will click final results. And it'll give us a final scoreboard of the top five scorers. So what I like to do here is I like to save these results. And it saves it as an Excel file for me. And if I open it up, I can actually see all the results from my students. Okay, so over here would be the full list of all the students and how many they got right, wrong, their score, and also their answer for each question. So questions 1 through 15 would go along here. And green is if they got it right, and red is if it, they got it wrong. And then over here, I can see the overall performance of the classroom. And another great tool is I can actually click on each individual question and see how many students answered a certain certain choice and once again all the students would be down here and their answer the time it took them to get to that answer and also the score this is a kahoot game um, if you have any questions please feel free to email me thank you